they want this Underlord to have a good game. Mm. So you were saying an Ursa pick possibly for Liquid? Or were you saying that Ursa would be for Spirit? For Team Spirit. Spirits, right. turn to pick. Oh. Oh. What? Ags for everybody. Wow. Whoa. I mean, some people try so, to play it. Uh, we were talking about Dark Mago. When yeah. I came to Dota Pro Tracker, he played like four Alchemist games uh, in, in the last uh, seven, eight days. And uh, some other teams I also remember me. picking it, but uh, I, I, we haven't, I don't think we've seen it. I think it's still the BKB Radiance, this crazy timing yeah. that you can get. And if you look at Spirit's Heroes, they have nothing through BKB. So I think that could be something that maybe Liquid's looking at to go for. Okay, so now if you're Spirit, you're thinking, okay, what the hell do you, what, what do we pick also first this, an Alchemist back in the day? Because this hero comes online extremely quickly. Like this is the, the pace that Team Liquid wants to set. Yeah. It's and like, also they're one of the yeah. best teams that, in terms of stacking the camps, which Alchemist does benefit. What was that on a timing? What was 14 to 15 minutes, the Radiance BKB, and then it's just like, oh my God, what do we do <laughs> versus Radiance BKB? They have Underlord, so they have that big damage, the percent yeah, damage, and, and they'll go for Troll. Hmm. Gives him some ways to actually take objectives at least, because they are versus this tree, and he could go, what, Ags versus the tree and stuff too, to be able to play against the Root, but most likely just Mantas and, hmm. I think Troll, every single time I see the hero, it's just too slow. Uh, it, it, it's like, okay, I need an extra item, and Alchemist does have, you know, extra item 15, 20 minutes in already, and that, I don't think the Troll can match the pace. They do have good D-push with Grimstroke, Underlord, and Keeper of the Light. How's their tower damage looking? Dragonite, Visage Birds, Alchemist hitting it. Looks Pretty good. good. I, Pretty strong. I like Liquid again. I am right on with you, honestly. I think they've got a really strong idea of what's, what to play against Ten versus Spirit, it does feel like. Many. Even though it's a really unorthodox last pick of an Elk. The there's time a, there's a lot of pressure many. on Toronto, Tokyo, on Storm to do a lot in this game. Because I know the big reason people like to pick Alchemist, at least back when it was popular, was the supports, they don't do anything for chasing you around the jungle. Neither does an Underlord, neither does a Troll. Storm does. Oh, do I go with an Alchemist? Yeah, sure, sure we'll go look. Quote, quote we'll, one of our panelists. Which if it's one? an alchemist game, it's an alchemist game. There, there you go. go. <laughs> okay, well, let's find out if it is an alchemist game. We're going to throw over to our casters, Avo and SNS. Guys, have a fantastic cast. Well, it's an alchemist. I can't believe I'm excited about an alchemist game, but it's been so long since we've seen the hero. You know, variety is always appreciated. Uh, and, yeah, especially uh, as a carry, right? He, yeah. He's had a brief stint in the past couple of patches as kind of that off lane. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that. To give you eggs to to who was it? Like Bristol was getting them. That's it. Alchemist off is yeah. bad though. <laughs> bad. He's not <laughs> good. Parts uh, would hate that. He's not good. Yeah. And Matumba says, "I want the gold." Yeah, exactly. and he's gonna get it. He's gonna get plenty of gold. I, I'm a bit hesitant on Alk. I think Alk got severely, heavily, really indirectly nerfed when they introduced neutral items and Ag shards and then Agonim's blessings because his thing was always being able. And to the buff get to the neutrals also nerfed them as well. Yeah, true. I mean, that's that's true. I was just going along the items note, right? Mm -hmm. Free items and quick items, that was always an elk thing. Being able to save your team a spot with the Ags upgrade, the Ag Synth, as it is it's called on, on elk, was always his thing. Now everyone can do that. You kill Roche three times, you can do that. Mm -hmm. So it just feels like the, the Valve or, or the, 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 the balance has kind of shifted to taking a lot of these things that were uniquely elk and kind of just making them... Uh, to, to everyone, for the good of the game. For the good of the game. I, I like a lot of the additions, but Elk hasn't really gotten much in return. Yeah, that's true. Like, the old idea for the Elk was, you know, you you farm so quickly that you're terrible stacking and you're kind of weakish body in mm -hmm. general. It doesn't really matter because you do so well with items. Obviously, Chemical Rage reducing your PAT. Uh, back then, huge because of the attack speed formula as well worked even better for you and you worked we worked with all the items that was a good cut by collapse yes. uh, not, not so much the case now that said, yeah, really i think there are some aspects of alchemist that are a little bit forgotten that i like that they're utilizing here <laughs> I, I really like the uh, first bite <laughs> in this game as well. Uh, but, um, you know, you have the Minus Armor of the Acid Spray, which works well with Unstable Concoction, also physical damage. That combines well with Vistage, who now has a new Minus Armor talent, which I know you love mentioning. I do. It's the, the Armor Corruption to Vistage and Familiar. It's right, level 15 talent. Mm -hmm. 1.5 each. Yeah. 
which means every attack, right? So every, it's, they, all, they all stack together, which yes, is total 4.5, right? They which do. is good. Yes. The and then Hoodwink begins. can also get a Blightstone, kind of a cheap item to just get an extra minus two, right? So there's a lot of ways that you can really amplify what, that physical damage. What, what did it now? Let's see. Yeah, Greeble's Greed level one, right? You get yeah. those bounties, okay? I mean, you're carrying, right? So that's, a, yeah, that makes that's how sense. you play it. Liquid will get two. And uh, we can see that little difference, right? That extra 40 gold from yep. the Greebles Greed. It's, 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 it's counted. Yep. That's JJ that... bug tested this one. <laughs> that said, the, the troll is a really good pick against him. It, it is a very solid pick. Because the troll is, in general, very good against these like super farming carries. Because in a 1v1 scenario, troll can win with even one item behind, even yep. two in some situations. And I actually think like troll has got the trump card. If this goes super late game with that 25 talent, I just never see Matumba being able to win a 1v1, right? Yeah, that's true. The... Battle, battle trance hard to spells. Uh, what do you do as Alk? You're used to just jumping on someone with your upgraded blink, killing, uh, bashing them with your upgraded basher and your other six items. Yep. And then this guy just presses one button. Dumbest hero in the game presses one button and counters you. Yeah. We'll also say though, uh, the world axe is piercing spell immunity. Uh, kind of a consideration in this game if you have like an axe build because four seconds blind essentially on the elk. Yeah. There could be a lot of stuff. I, you can do I find that. myself every single time it's a good troll game. I also find myself saying this is a good axe game as well. Um, no, not the axe. I mean, it only as a late game item because of the level 25 talent. Yeah. Because it, it reduces the cooldown to four Please. seconds as a perpetual blind on Alk, right? He does have one or two dispels, but you usually use BKB and Chemical Rage to initiate the fight, right? So, I must say, I, there's a lot of cool things. I think Troll in general is very good. Alk, though, because of his burst nature that you just implied, and of course, because he's combined with a DK, pretty good against the Storm. Because yeah. uh, you burst him down from 100 to 0 kind of quickly. Now, oh, hold that thought. Speaking of the potential I save, um, Aposhka could have used one there. Yeah, it's insane. Oh. Oh, well done. Door there. Big kill there. That's going to be the hero that could potentially save this Another one. Or 25 talent. This collapse is going to be in for a rough time here, Avo. Yeah. They have Leech Sheet again as well. Collapse only one point in after PR yet because level two. So they're going to take two kills. That is the concoction. Very underrated skill in general, especially in the Elk Offlin. That's one of my favorite parts of the hero. Yeah, it's, no. it's stun is amazing. The early damage is really good. The early max stun is actually kind of respectable. Cooldown's kind of low. And now it gives you a move theme bonus, something that people kind of forget. It's been a a while since they added this, uh, which allows you to chase targets, especially early, much easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, that was also plus six on the last hit for Collapse, so he's making spots already. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Collapse is just a big creep from a Tumba Man. Uh -uh. It's a good start. He's going to go for Soul Ring as well. He's going to go for Helm, so we might be seeing the Armlet build on Alchemist that we used to see. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if he's going to build the, the Battle Fury. That was the last time we saw Alchemist. It was the Battle Fury build to cover for the lack of mana region on Chemical Rage. As Miposhka, they go for him again. This time the Ink Swell drives away Matumba Man, but Insania will keep hitting Miposhka as Matumba is driven away. And Insania realizes he can't quite kill Miposhka. Matumba Man also will not die. Uh, he's good to go. You can see Insania Stockholm Soul is uh, doing really well. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is great. I love that he picked also such long names that he can't actually fit it <laughs> into the extra part. It's Los Angeles, right? Not Los Angeles. Yeah, so I'm just taking a peek here, Avo. Not very many. Uh, hold that thought. I might be in for some more trouble. Uh, well, from the push, go there. Tear him off. Liquid have got good respect for that. And actually, Insania is going to be taking a little bit of a bruise on his way out. Uh, what I did want to say is it's just taking a quick peek at Dota 2 Pro Tracker. Only 30 games on the Carry Elk, 33% win rate. Not amazing, uh, but it does seem like it, it, it's Battle Fury Silver Edge. It, it seems to be. Okay. Yeah. But the helm, that's what I'm wondering. Is the helm armlet, right? I presume, or is it just a casual helm? Uh, it's, it's probably armlet. Armlet does, it does pop up in here as well. Okay, yeah. It's 25% of games. Yeah, that's good. I, I can see the armlet being really good. The extra armor from armlet. <laughs> Uh, is, is fantastic against heroes like Troll, right? And he's your main counter this game. Uh, the Underlords is a bit of a nuisance against, obviously, the Armlet. A lot of it is base stats, and so that aura will get stronger. But uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I think Alk will have so much such a ridiculous amount of damage because of the power spike and, you know, how much you farm. Uh, you don't really concern yourself with Atrophy Aura as much. Huh. A uh, little change note as well that went under the radar for me on Unstable Concoction, as I thought we heard one. It also damages and stuns non-hero units within the radius, so it's a little bit of a farming tool now. But, well, you have to hit, you can only target heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess, I mean, in the lane, you can use it to help CS. Yeah, you could, yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some use to it, I actually like that, yeah. He is going for the acid spray, though, too, too far. Oh, of course, I mean, nah. yeah, see, they said Alchemist, he's not going to change that much, I was just looking to see. Oh, that is, that is really cool, out. I agree. Gatoro is going to be able to make it out of uh, that bottom scrap alive, as I was giving chase. 
be quicker about it. Uh, oh, my. Bottom man. Want just continues to farm bottom lane. Not the easiest for the Dragon Knight. Probably doesn't die against Troll, but you don't do much. Once you get the Whirling Axis blind as a DK, you're screwed. You can't. You can barely see. Well, actually, he doesn't. He's not carrying a helmet this time. But uh, that blind really stops you from doing the usual thing DK likes, which is just keep hitting the enemy hero, ignore everything. He's also not the fastest hero, so the Illuminates usually hit early. And that makes it so that DK can't have the lane domination we're used to on this offlaner troll. Definitely one of the best laning carries. We'll be going for Battle Fury as well this game. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. That's a, that's a strat. I, I think, like, Maelstrom still used to be a, a very viable option on the troll for early yeah. fighting. Still increases your farming speed. Uh, but Battle Fury certainly is going to get you uh, into the later game's items a bit earlier as there goes once again. It's up. Looking for a kill on the collapse. And Sania as well is going to get up. Uh, that nature's grass, but ultimately stopped. But there we go. Picture in picture, Mira is going to be burned. Eyes die. These eyes first kill in this lane. I uh, did a good job. He realizes there's no way I kill a troll. Mira was being a little bit too cocky, right? He was trying to create space for a scary, and as a result, they tried to, to punish that. And this also enables Boxy to rotate for the rune, but unfortunately, the rune stuck in Toronto, Tokyo. We'll be uh, we'll be able to get it. It's an invis rune, not the best early rune for Storm. Is there any kills you can get with this Invis Rune? Is Alk possible at all? If you like Inkswell the Storm, perhaps? It's a tall order, though. Yeah. Alk's pretty tough, right? He's his stats... good base stats. Exactly. Yeah, his base stats are, are fairly decent. Starts with 700 HP, you know, 400 mana. Invisibility. Uh, two to three armor with not a great edge again, sure, but a bit tougher to get through. Yeah. The Helm also helps a lot in this situation. Yeah, it's very true, right? Collapse. We'll get the Inkswell stun. And that will be close to killing Insania. Koss will commit for this. It's going to be split along the two, but oh, they did finish off the tree. There goes the end of the body. Zai, I thought perhaps the squirrel for Boxy, but no, instead Zai is the target. Uh, even a little bit of a dive for Toronto Tokyo as he does commit for the kill and will be rewarded with the bounty. Well done. Oh. Uh, killing off the DK bottom Radiance certainly an important kill and a good rotation attack. by the storm. I wasn't thinking of that being a possibility, but he has max stag static remnant, so the amount of damage, especially the magical one with the caudal, is uh, pretty high. Enough to kill the DK apparently, Dyer's even with double attack. bracer and trends. Also, I, maybe you could also argue that the Hoodwink is not the best defensive support for these situations. Like, you can bushwhack and that's it, but they cut down the tree, especially with three heroes ganking you. And one having ball lightning, you essentially need to get a three-man bushwhack. Yeah. Or it's impossible to save your TK. Yeah, it's, it's very rare to be. I mean, you're ganking a, a Hoodwink lane, right? You, you know what to look out for. Exactly. Uh, that's true. one thing. All right, they do what? get the pushback and dragon to combo nicely. Lacking a bit of damage. Acorn shot for a little bit more vision. But it's not going to be enough to kill off Yatoro. Remember that uh, Berserker's Rage does give a little bit of extra armor, so he's going to sustain himself nicely. Yeah, a bit of move speed and range form, and uh, more... No, armor is it? In the melee, it's one or the other. Yeah, melee is the armor. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Everything Don't is melee, actually. They're like, ah, you either get range or you get stats. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And the range is going to be useful while Sai as well has a little, little bit of range to play with himself as Toronto Tokyo. Gonna be TP back to the bottom, actually, is where the action is. They can go for Zai a second time. And they made last game to try and stop Zai from pushing too early on. And this time, the Hoodwink will connect the stone there on Toronto Tokyo. That'll at least save Zai this time around. Every single time, though, they, they look to go bottom. And every time Storm loses the lane, Visage is starting to lurk closer and closer to that tower. Mm-hmm, he is. And he's going to go for full blast. So this is more like the offlane Visage build, right? Do you think it's going to be the uh, Wraith fact, Or would, would he build a Helm? I don't think you build a Helm start by the blast, right? That's a really good question. I, I think it's a later upgrade. I think it's a later upgrade for the Visage. Mm. Um, I think perhaps you're just going to want to go for the Aura Visage uh, in the oh, lane. Oh, like drums, Vlads, and then drum, eventually Wraith Factor. Yeah, yeah, and then sure. maybe at that stage of the game, you see what's giving you problems. Maybe you want to pick up a Harpy, right? Mm -hmm. Energize as well with your birds anyway. Give them vision to go in further. Oh, so you could build a home regardless. Okay, I guess, I guess the option is it, it ain't a bad item for the Visage. It's always been a popular item for yeah. I mean, I, I guide myself on the, the core visages because we mostly see offlane, right? But the only person that consistently plays this core was, has been the Hawk, right? Yeah. And he, he does like the aura visage. He likes drums and assault. I have not seen him build Vlad's on that hero, but of course he's a carry, not as useful. 
we'll uh, but he, I, I'm interested in Mickey's build. He used to be a Wizards player, and I think now that it's back, it's back in meta, I, he's excited. You know what? I, Honestly, I reckon I'm Insania really and Collapse, Honestly, they, really they get impressed. along really well. <laughs> All the high fives. They've been, I mean, Collapse, he can't really kill Insania. It's a bit of an ask, right? Insania, he's just here. But look at this. It's just a gentleman's agreement. They have the same voice lines as well, yeah. which I think is real cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, is, uh, that is great to see. I love seeing the Dota 2 camaraderie, especially now that we're back on land. Yeah, yeah. they get to meet each other afterwards, play a little bit of ping pong. Yeah, do we have a table for uh, Rock, paper, scissors, right? Rock, paper, scissors is the big one, but Kumba always wins. He's been training them. Yeah, it's... You, you just you never think he's going to not go attack. Rock. And yeah, man, man, he just does it again. He just does it every time. Every time. Yeah. Every time. It's impressive. The Alk is going to be able to finish off a stack. It was the armor, by the way, we're talking about. And now the question is, will he go for the, the Alfie rebuild we've been saying, or something completely different? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I imagine it's the first time out. Oh, Radiance! Interesting. Oh, that, that's, that's vintage. That's old school, yeah. That's, that's vintage. I mean, you, you talk Dyer's about old school out builds. You throw, out, out, you know, Alchemist in there. Sorry, you throw the armlet in there. You gotta, you gotta give a nod towards the Radiance. That's the second time we've seen a Radiance today, even. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been actually purchased a, a little bit. Dog did it on Necrofoss as well. Uh, Hector did it on Lifestealer, which, you know, that's a whole other thing. And Matoma Man, though, what, what I'm interested, if you haven't really been following the out trends, the reason why it was shifted to Battle Fury is that uh, reduction in mana regen. By the way, they go here for the Vintage. It's gonna be an easy kill. Toss goes back home. He's done with this. Yep. See you later. I'm back to pushing top. I want to go oh. kill my friend Insania. Hey, it's familiar as well. That's an extra 200 gold from Torn to Tokyo. Uh, that is big. Yeah. Yep. That's that's pretty big. 30 seconds out familiar is a big deal. Anyway, the yeah. reason they went back to. Real, real quick. Just real quick. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, the biggest deal on why Storm is actually really darn good against the Visage is that mm -hmm. the uh, Overlord damage, Overload damage is dealt as a second stack, which is. Uh, two hot. instances of damage. Two instances, which does break through two uh, stacks of the cloak. It's, yes. it's pretty brutal for the hero. Uh, you can think of this much like OD's Arcane Orb versus a TA Refraction. Yeah, that's very good. That's, that's very good. We'll see what they can do up top, by the way. They push this tower. There is the living armor. Three points already in it. But uh, with three heroes knocking your tower, probably going to fall. And the, the point is a very simple one, but in case you've been following the Elk, you build Battle Fury these days essentially for the modern region on the Chemical Rage. They're both Dyer's do the same thing as Radiance. Top. It has been considered that Radiance is fallen. the better build if it wasn't for that Chemical Rage nerf, of course. Mm -hmm. Chemical Rage. Uh, so, if he's going for Radiance, you must think. The mod is not needed. He did go for Sol Ring, which will cover for that. And uh, we'll see if that's going to be enough for Matoma Man as he just continues to farm that big item. Yeah, Link, uh, sorry, Spirit, that is, have been doing a pretty good job at controlling bounties. Normally, I wouldn't ask for this stat super late this late in the game, but um, I'd be curious to see, like, how many bounties have been claimed by either side. It doesn't really seem like Liquid have prioritized much on it. The multiplier is not that high as, as it used to be, like, eight times or something back in the old days. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not that big of a deal anymore. It's only up to three. Um, so, you know. We'll see if that ends up making a difference as we get more and more higher value bounties towards the end. For now, in trouble is going to be the slim horseman on Rage's tier one top. Easy kill there on Tamira for Mickey. And he will join his uh, brother in flight here for this tier one tower siege. There we go, Liquid trying to. This time is different, right? When they're taking towers, it's not to oppress the enemy team like it did last game. The goal is to create space for the alchemist here. Uh, as Matoma can't really or isn't that useful at joining engagements, he can only really shove lanes in the early game. Uh, we'll see what Toronto Tokyo will do, or sorry, what uh, Team Spirit will do, because Jenkins is right on the money. They don't really have the best ganking squad against the Alk. It's Storm and, I guess, helpers, but it's really just the Storm that to play around. Uh, and I'll just say one quick thing about the Radiance, because it did slightly change. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, it's Toronto Tokyo, it's just farming a wave. Uh, it now gives, uh, they, they, they broke the uh, evasion, or the mist rate, into two components. Now it grants you 15% evasion, uh, while also the burn rate of still 10%. Yeah. Um, so Radiant's it used to be the enemies with BKB and they would ignore it. Now you still at least keep that passive component, which is maybe going to make a difference versus a troll. We'll, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, no, it's not a bad point, actually. 15%, it, it ain't much to write home about. Troll, he's still going to pick up a basher, right? If you bash, you hit the attack anyway. So, you know, it's 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 not going to be a huge deal, but perhaps in these early fights where the armlet and that little Dyer's miss rate, it might make a, a bit of a difference in a mano a mano. Especially when you can arm the toggle, Radiant right? And that, might, that miss rate might make the difference. No, I agree. Absolutely. It did make the item slightly better, right? Yeah. People considered it more than the trash that it was last time. Yeah, and it's 50 gold cheaper, so, you know, hey. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that's, that's that's money for the Alk, right? <laughs> uh, it is, he's very close to it. The team is trying to make a play, but Liquid in a similar position where they don't have the 
greatest ganking squad. And it's really just their two offlaners, which can solo get, get solo kills, but they don't want small skirmishes. It's only a simple one-man gank. Yeah. Zai, he's had Blink Dagger for a while. He's going to be looking for the jump here on the Dragon Form Axe. Nice. Okay, with the familiars onto the tower as Zai scouted there. So there's uh, the ruse is up for the Blink. He is going for the aura build we talked about with drums now. I like it. If you go for this build, yeah, you can actually just gank with the familiars. That's another option, right? You go DK Hoodwing, send the familiars with them. You smoke the familiars alone. Mickey shows up. And uh, they can smell something's going to happen, but you don't need to overcommit yeah. for these kids. I, I actually think I, I love the drums because eventually that is going to upgrade into the new this patch, Boots of Bearing, which makes you unstoppable now for 1.5 seconds and gives your team a move speed and attack speed buff. Went tranquils. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, that's the sign he's clearly interested in. If you look at a lot of spirits control outside of Pit of Malice, it's all slows. It's all slows and leashes. But these guys can communicate, and if you can get out of that pit using your move speed, you're in a pretty good spot. You know, actually, a huge point is for Solar Vine. Those 1.5 seconds, massive. There's uh, the Alchemist Radiance 1515. Uh, I believe Gabby bought one earlier today in our uh, game. Oh, uh, so that's uh, a 1515. Of course, uh, Alk is going to beat. Uh, well, is this the best Alk Radiance timing this patch? I believe it is. It's <laughs> in this the worst tournament? one. And I believe this is also our worst bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, look. <laughs> it's slower than this patch average. Ah, uh, yes, I, 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 I... 60 I, matches, okay. Yeah, again, I could only find 30 pro matches uh, this past... Or sorry, 30 Immortal That's level. That's a great stat, thank you so much. This past week, yeah, so it's... It, it's not even super popular on the people uh, that are. I'm assuming it's slower because of the armlet, though, right? Maybe other Ox... Very true. Armlet? Yeah, yeah, very true. I it didn't seem like he was hunted or Matoma made any mistakes this game. Uh, He's gonna go for BKB next as well. They're gonna play around his timings mostly. Uh, if you're Liquid, you're gonna skirmish. Early and then Touché. force fights around the alchemist. I mean, that's what the alchemist does. And if you're a team spirit, you're just kind of farming, getting yourself ready for this alchemist fight eventually. Yeah. If you can get kills, but the only good kills on the supports and Visage, right? But Mick has been doing a good job of not showing too much on the map. And and Liquid, I mean, they're so patient. Again, these guys don't want to be making any mistakes. This is a beautiful graph. I think this one's excellent. Oh, I mean, Zai. you can just see. Oh, Zai. Oh, oh. Okay, he blinked away in time, and Taran Tokyo will not catch him. That's good. That's good. Yeah, he was uh, in a bit of a, a, a tricky spot. Yep. And you know, Let's again, the DK with the uh, fireball, he's gonna farm, you know, decently well. He can take the dangerous farm that Alex not interested in. Um, Visage, he can go for these kind of pickoff moves versus uh, a Coddle versus a Grimstroke quite easily. So that's where he can get a bit of extra gold. Um, you know, so the core of the Liquid, they're, they're happy to be fighting it. It's, it's not like they have like a Riki or a Slark who's like, come on guys, we gotta go. And then this Alk is just sitting back. They're, 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 they've, they've drafted well for it. Mm. Or Tokyo. He'll be trying to just get a bit of farm and hopefully force this tower. But with the living Daya's armor, it's just difficult tower. to poke at a tower, attack. right? They kind of have to overcommit for a fight. And they don't want to use Yatoro yet with that Battle Fury. No, they don't want to use Yatoro Yatoro, so he's going to have to <laughs> sit back a little bit more. No, I thought the cost was on the panel. Turns out he's uh, here with uh, me. Uh, yeah, he's he's going to have to sit back a little bit more with the Battle Fury. He needs more items. I mean, uh, this is Matumba. You didn't bother him much in lane. Uh, they haven't seen him for a while. That's never a good sign for an alchemist. Uh, so he's, yep, 24 is now the max stack of people's gold, of course. Used to be a lot higher back in the day, 33 or something. Uh, Toronto Tokyo, we'll take that DD run. He'll, he'll save that two minutes. It'll it'll go ahead and sit in the bottle. Uh, he may be able to find something with that. BKB and smoke. There we go. Play on the BKB timing. AC will be coming out eventually, Matama, but I just want to smoke here. And hopefully catch the storm here. The scan actually detected him. Blink tag on Zai. He takes back and forth. Oh, he's going on to Tokyo. He's a bit too quick on the zip. He actually BKB just in case. Yeah, I Radiant wonder what scouted. they scouted there. Is even Yatoro is going to get out of that one. He BKB yes. as, as he made the zip. He was completely out of mana. It's a, it's a normal storm move to make, but they must have gotten a whiff of something. He, he may have he made BKB. Okay. Like, he, he blinked, he, he bought lightning before he could tell which here was going on. Oh, well, there's stun from Zai. He's going to find someone. It's the Coddle. He's a little bit tanky here, but eventually will burn alive to the Radiance or the fire of Zai. Yeah, the, the fire of Zai and Matoman combined, right? So much burn here. And they want to turn this ideal into an objective. If In this game, Liquid actually would like to take the tier one offlane because this will allow you to take over the triangle and alka is just so strong especially as dire right taking over radiant triangle allows you to get the shard 
Okay, so does he catch uh, it again? Uh, he could have. He could have caught a glimpse. I love that sound effect as well. That's very cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, you can just, oof, we got, got out of that one, guys. We're okay. Check his armpit to see if it's too sweaty. I, oh, I like that. Oh, well, uh, now it's Yatro's turn to sweat. Hard to hide the trees from the vistage, especially RGTP in front of the familiars. Oh, that's going to be a dead troll warlord. Sharpshooter to make sure he couldn't even get his ultimate off. <laughs> I, okay, this this camera movement is getting really good, guys. Uh, good. It's good. Awesome production. It's good. Yeah, I mean, and this is the, the best part about having the players on land, isn't it? We, we get to... Yeah, we get to see more than before. Yeah, it's Richie. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is truly amazing. Yeah. They have a camera admin just for these things. And it's uh, it continuing to be liquid. There we go. Well, there's a little bit of forehead action still, but hey, it. You know, Matamba man is still continuing to siege top lane. He's, he's keen on joining these fights. AC is going to be online. I, I mean, this is ridiculous, GPM. This is certainly going to set GPM records at the rate this game is going. There it is, 800. And that is the highest amount of net worth and it's over here at 20 minutes. Yeah. 16 points. Have there been another elf pick this creature? No, there has not. Okay, so that might explain it. If there has been another elf pick, then it didn't even get a BKB. So that is not a very good elf pick. <laughs> As they go for the Roche now, Matumba does the chemical rage ready. That's going to be a fast Roche with a familiar. That's on the level 15 town as well. So look at these timings, right? Really clever. So, so what do you think? Is, is there going to be a window where this elf falls off? Are we approaching that? Is that what Spirit is playing for? Am um, I seeing Scott? No, I was checking if so was going to be Scotty. That would be, in my opinion, the window, but with Trolls, the idea is often I am so strong that I'm going to 100 to zero the out regardless of his healing, right? So Scotty is not necessarily the item. You go more for damage, mm -hmm. but the choice for Yatoro God is uh, Manta style into Lincoln Sphere. Lincoln's blocks a DK stun. Yeah, blocks on stable concoction, which honestly very strong. Acorn shot can break it though. Good range on that. This yep. has a couple of spells that he doesn't mind throwing Soul out. Soul assumption particularly. Yeah, Soul assumption is, is particularly strong. Four second cooldown anyway, if you actually yeah. need it in a fight, and the range is quite generous, relatively speaking. And it is a range packed actually for Mickey. Okay. Love it. Um, it's great against Troll, by the way, because yeah, it's ultimate. You put the the little totem behind him. Does nothing. I mean, it's great general against Troll. Right, you just bonk him there. It's true. And now collapse, he's trying to kill him. And he has the health star in Tokyo. So he'll be able to finish off Mickey. He's out of great good cloak, which means he's going to fall. But with the help of a Tomat, they can maybe turn around. Class has a BKB. A TP is available, but it's a bit too late. Just came off cooldown, which means he's going to die. And the Tomat is looking for the support now. Star Tokyo manages to find Boxy. A Boxy is being burnt in the trees. One last chop. Plus six. We'll send his head rolling. Yeah. Uh, Yatsuru, again, he, he knows he does not have the resources to go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now with this Matumbo. I mean, he, he doesn't know it, but he knows this is a record set in net worth here right now on this Alchemist. Uh, so instead, he goes mono mono with the Tier 1 mid lane. Much, much easier fight, so uh, he is going to at least start to open up the map a little bit more for Spirit. These are important things to take into consideration, Radiant's right, when we start uh, taking attack. into account, like, Roshan uh, and map movements and making m space on the map for you to make plays. To get back in this game, it's a 5k net worth lead before this fight, which is pretty commendable considering that there is an elk in the game. Yeah, it is. Again, they're doing a decent job of resisting, but... Okay, he might be out before they could chew. He's not looking to fit the mouse, however, he does have the age is still available. And the BKB, so he thinks, let's go for the Cardinal. Try to finish off Mira. No, change targets. Go for it, for God instead. Valorant is available for him, though. And they know it. They decide to go for the boss kid instead, leaving side of the by the Cardinal, that overgrowth got expelled immediately by the Mother Style to run to Tokyo. Capable of zip zapping himself to safety. By the way, people asking, why the Manta? It's the Treant. It's yep. the overgrowth. It's it, a it, huge nuisance. It's really, really difficult. You can see in Santa, he's, he held that in that last replay we saw that we just cut back from. He held it the entire duration of that fight. Even oh, yeah. He pump faked it Dyer's once. Not at all in vision. He canceled it because mm. he went, no, nah, we, we're going to win this fight. We got BKBs. We're going to push it to two tower. That's when I'm going to think I'm going to need it. And he's right. Um, if, if Troll pops his ulti there, he would have been extremely sad to be overgrowth. Can't attack mm -hmm. during that one. Can't move during that one. That's why the Manta style is so clutch, right? And that's why that changed the team fight around. And I, I don't know if they checked his inventory necessarily, but I, I'm assuming they did, honestly. Yeah, yeah. The choice for Matumba to change Radiant's targets immediately, tower, right? Support, then carry, then support, is the acknowledgement that they can't kill the troll. And those quick decisions matter a lot here. Okay, so uh, a rare push with the first stage. As you can see, Spirit not really expecting to see that. They were smoked and heading into the enemy jungle. Instead, they find themselves now uh, quickly and hastily retreating. But their tier three bottom is just dropped. 
control onto Matumbo, but again, he's able to outheal it. Chemical Rage still had half duration as Yasuro at least looking for Mickey's Here's coming. Now he's going to be pushed this way, that way, and the Sharpshooter is good, but not enough damage. In the meantime, Tom Tokyo shot the back line, straight to the mound, and Asa too. Mickey can't get through everything, though. It's really damage onto Matumbo that they're looking at, but he's still with Aegis for another minute. Will now lose it. Uh, but with the team fight, doesn't really seem like it'll continue here for Spirit. Oh! Oh. It will for Liquid. It will for Liquid. Or maybe Zai was just dropping the fireball there. He is still in dragon form for a fair amount of time. I've got a ward really deep in the base as well for Liquid. That's a great ward. I don't think oh. Spirit, no. Chemical Rage is up in six seconds. They were just waiting for his book of Gunshin. However, Matumba has to keep it. And they actually found the overgrowth. A good target. It's Mira. Nice. Goodbye to the Coddle. Before she's the next target, ideally, but he's too far back. Don't want to overcommit like that. Nick in trouble himself. Rage like that's a drug. He's telling Matumba to move Chemical Rage with the ash from the storm. What a play by Boxy, and now look at Insane, he's been holding down these backliners forever. That double buyback, not from Spirit, two cores. They need to get big money out from this one, though, but Mickey, he's too tanky. Even that full uh, pipe of insight reduces Storm's damage to nil. Beansgate erected, means Liquid. Oh, I'm sorry, that collapse he's back in, that is. And now Zai is going to be a target by the door. Yes, Zai is stuck in the pit of Malice. He's going to get rid of the Ghost for now, but he just can't get away from the roots. And with Dark Token coming back in, Zai gets one last stun. Oh, he dies with it. Overthrown to Tokyo. He does get the PKD just in time. That's the end of the flying at him. Now the vision is the target. Nikkei sent back. Don't get it. And with a battle trend in the nick of time. Matumba Man now running with Yatoro gone. He is trying to kite it. That stun comes out. Yatoro from God to mortal. Down to the grave he goes. Kano in the same position. And Boshka will be able to outrun this at the very least. Dude, Boxy is the MVP there. We, we have to get a replay of that. That was epic. Uh, the, Matumba kites him back up to the high ground. Boxy uses Fury to get vision and aggro the troll into the trees, and he just wastes all the entire ultimate. I, I would love to see a replay, that, but Liquid needs to leave the space first. Uh, that, that was so cool. I mean, Boxy is a, is a freaking madman for that play. Yep. Amazing. Uh, a long fight. Uh, the Wraith Pact actually was dropped in the midst of that engagement, so a lot of that damage was being reduced here. Uh, and this is after buybacks, mind you, uh, both on Trump to Tokyo as well as Yatoro here. So this is a desperate moment uh, for Spirit. They need to get way more. The buybacks were pretty good. They had collapsed, set up that pit of malice, lots of control. And uh, we'll see shortly here. Look at that BKB by Trump to Tokyo, by the way. That was clutch, but he got caught anyway. We'll see here very shortly. Yatoro barely gets this ulti off. And then you'll see, Boxy's positioning couldn't be uh, more perfect. He's gonna lose oh, yep. up on the high ground, I and he see. goes, hello. I see, that was very good. That was oh, very, shit. very good. He even dropped the bush no. back just oh. in case the unstable comes uh, uh, Look, look, he's like, yeah, yeah, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> uh, I love that he did the bush back as well towards the end. In case Concoction didn't hit him in time, Boxy was ready. Boxy, the troll killer here. I love that you mentioned that. I, very good it, it's, it's good stuff. That's a great skirmish. It's a long one, lots of points of inflection. As, ah, who needs Elven Tunic? Well, that's fine. We got one. We got one at home. It's AC. <laughs> and Aresius. Yes. Right, yeah, yeah. Elven, Elven Tunic and AC. Could it, could it be further apart as, as like uh, so, the item presents so awkward. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, just excellent control there. That's, that's been the biggest downfall oh, of, of, this, of this troll hero. He's just, you know what it's, uh, you know what it's doing. As there go the golems. Yeah, the not controlling your hero in Dota is honestly. Uh, it, it, what it sucks about this ultimate is that it depends on the enemy team being bad sometimes. Right? Yeah, and, 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 and I in mean, pro play that never happened. Oh, oh, too well then. Too, was that a second one that I just picked up right next to it? That would have been incredible. I mean, they still it's still on the ground. Liquid could recover, but right now, all of them are more kills. Oh. They got the aerial still good because of the talent. And that's Yamaro got being burst at 100 of zero collapse. Overgrowth, you're not going anywhere, buddy. He does try to open the Fiend's Gate. They need another stun. Now again, channeling it. The silence. That's not going to stop the channel. The Dragon Kill will collapse, will fall. And Liquid get two huge kills off an unstable concoction. Level 10 talent, Richie. And most importantly, Zai recovers. The, the, the drop to neutral item. He <laughs> picks it back up towards the end of the he fight. He did it. That's why Liquid are doing here. It's, it's the battle of the neutral items. He's the done. battle of the Radiant's elven tunics. The tunics, right. He pulls because uh, I can't believe we lost that tunic. It, I mean, it was it was free. I, it, it, it's starting to look really rough. This is exactly how you Radiant's want an elf draft to go. Yep. Right? I mean, you're running at him. You're basically being yeah, spotted. Yeah, you got lots yeah, of gold. This overwhelming blink. That's a buff, really, to the elven yeah. item that he always pretty much purchased because he does kind of suffer from 
Just, just randomly Radiant awkwardly walking up to heroes and then getting attack. stunned and kited. But now that you can over upgrade that item for more stats Radiant and damage and utility, that's pretty good for this guy. You think about that. That's the rack's done for them, and because he's in the two side racks, now it's going to be difficult for Team Spirit to regain this uh, control. Trying to yeah. talk to Tokyo. <laughs> okay, he's just saying, hey guys, no Talismans are really good, by the way. Yes, he is. Zips in and out Zip. with that fairy's trinket. You still have uh, one or two team fights left in Team Spirit. It's not entirely off, especially because Troll, once again, even being two items down, or three in this case, you can burst on the out, but you need to control around it, and you need to stop the hoodwink. Uh, you know, kiting you around with a battle mm -hmm. fight. Mm -hmm. The fights are really hard, right? Because there's this Wraith pack, there's this Vistage that takes super well. Um, now with the Boots of Bang as well, it makes it really difficult for them yeah. to... The spider Legs is really good, because now you can just kind of go in any direction and immediately get out of the mouth. Is if that's been an issue for them this game, it yeah, honestly better. really hasn't. That's true. Yeah. A lot of movement speed on the Alpha yeah. Gem. Even the pipe from it, it's all auras. They even went for two four steps as well on the supports here on Liquid, just to cover for the Pit of Malice, because they understood, right? It's just mm -hmm. Pit of Malice and a bunch oh. of slows. Uh, the first axe of the game from Matumbo. We, we've reached that point already. Uh, I wonder who he gives this to. Could be for the Vistage. DK, yeah, probably. Ah, uh, there's a case for DK. Uh, Hunter's Boomerang, I think, is, is fairly solid, actually. Sure. I would give it to Kors, probably, but... What? I don't know about Mickey, though, because he's kind of an aura guy right now, right? So is the that, actually that useful? That's why I'm thinking DK or, or potentially... Yes, DK. Yeah, okay. Welcome... Black Trek. Black Dragon. Yes, indeed. Upgraded. He's, he's got the level 3 Dragon form, so he does fully go. He's got yes. Freedom uh, uh, Flight now as well with Boots of Bearing and all the auras that Mickey is carrying. It, it's great. I like this flexibility out, out from Liquid as well, right? So this Mickey oh. is very much transitioning to a bit of a different role, and immediately the Black Dragon from below to collapse. You can do. They also say hello to the host guy who's first and immediately collapsed. He'll be in trouble. And he does get the fiends get oh, 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 stop this. Collapse, where are you going, buddy? Take your flame, leave the collapse. He gets decimated by the sea boss. He in the trees. And being the storm turns to Tokyo. Getting annoyed by the squirrel. The force that first is still alive. But the the dark squirrel turns to Tokyo. Realizes he has to let it go. Toronto, Tokyo. Did get the kill on Boxy, but it was bad. He lost his life. Die back as well, Avo. I mean, Radiance, not Radiance, only is that Radiance, team fight oh. excellent for Liquid, uh, the voice line Radiance, usage is also on point. Yep. And Liquid will go 2-0. Bit of a fast track this time around with the Alchemist. And they make it look good, though, don't they? They did. Very, once again, for both games, this is the Liquid style of Dota that we're used to traditionally. Obviously, this is more 